Hi everybody, it's Shiloh Dula here. My name is Michelle and I'm coming to you guys today with a video that will explain Shiloh Dula's do's. So what that looks like is actually kind of giving you guys a glimpse of what it would be like for me to be your doula. So this is more of a condensed list, um, kind of things that I put together that are more important and more generalized for everyone who I take care of. But when we do get in contact with one another, I will then be able to customize what works best for you and your family because everything is Everyone is different. Every birth is different. Every pregnancy is different. Every labor is different. The support teams are different. You know, so I want to make sure that that's understood. That you know, this is not um, this is not everything that I will be doing for you guys, but it's more of a generalized and condensed list. So just stay tuned. So the first thing would be to support you spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. This is such a huge journey that you're now walking down, you and your family. And so I just want to make sure um, to understand where you are, like how you're doing, how are you doing spiritually, how's your connection with God. Um, my favorite scripture is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, the trust in Him. Um, with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path and so I found that that scripture for me has helped me through so many journeys on in my life and it actually is one of our models here at Shiloh Dula like that is a scripture that I hold near and dear um, because it is true he will truly direct your path so just going over with you how are you doing spiritually and that, which ties into how are you doing mentally like this is it weighs a lot on your mentality which is why a lot of people say well when you're going into labor when you're having a child when you're going to postpartum it's all a mental game and I wouldn't say game like so I don't agree with that part because it's not a game this is very real um, but it is, it is true that this is all about, um, your, your, men your mentality, you know, so I want to know where you are there. How are you doing emotionally? Do you have support? If you don't have support, I want to be there for you as much as I can, you know, and then of course, physically, as you're actually going through the laboring process, when you're going through the childbirth and the pushing, when you're going through the postpartum and you're a well of emotions because you just pushed a new life into this world. And so, you know, it's very important that we build upon a strong foundation and so you know that's where I come in I'm, I'm, I'm not just here to say hey I'm here for your labor or hey I'm here for your birth and then peace out like that's that's not who I am and I just want to make sure that we're making strong connections and strong bonds with a strong foundation so that is definitely my number one thing um, of being your doula just being an all-around well-rounded support person for you So that brings us to the next thing, which is to encourage daily prayers and scriptures for fulfillment. So, of course, if, you know, you are praying to God, you're asking him for guidance, you're looking to him, you're leaning on him, the way that he talks to us is through his word. So it's really important for you to find scriptures um, and prayers that you can pray and read daily that gives you strength, that gives you fulfillment, that gives you peace because his word also says that if you keep your mind on him, he will give you perfect peace. He tells us all the time not to be fearful nor be dismayed or stressed, right? So the only way you'll understand that is if you're adding reading his word to your prayers every day I, I encourage that I will not force my beliefs or anything on you but I'm here to share with you that his word is true his word is real and it is fulfilling and it will give you peace okay so we'll have that time together where I can go over what my experiences with God um, have been over all of these years to just give you you know that 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 encouragement or that push to say hey let me let me try to connect with God a little bit deeper especially in this journey because then the goal of all of what I'm going to be talking about today is that you can take 
everything that you've learned, everything that we have experienced together, what, what you have experienced individually or with your family, you can take those, those tools and use them in any aspect of your life, right? Because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So you can use the same tools yesterday that you use yesterday for today and that you use for, de- for today for tomorrow. So um, that is definitely a goal of mine for you. So the next thing is educate, educate, educate. So it's so important um, for you to get the proper education about what's going on with your body. And I'm not meaning like education in a formal setting. If that's something that you would like to do, that's beautiful. But I'm not meaning like going to a classroom and sitting down and taking notes and taking a test or anything like that. But you know, nowadays that we have the internet as our friend, right? Um, we love to go on Dr. Google. I've been guilty of going on Dr. Google. You know, we all do it. But a lot of the information that's given um, is not reliable information. And so when it comes to your body and your health and your baby and you know what you desire um, your labor and your childbirth to look like, you know, it's not as simple as just typing in something into Google and then getting the first thing that pops up um, and taking that as reliable information. You want to make sure that you are getting reliable information. So I am a part of evidence-based birth and they have so many articles on, um, pregnancy, labor, delivery, things that happen during delivery, and so much information is there. So um, if you have a question, then I can go ahead and look through and see if I can find articles or help you find articles or help you learn how to find reliable sources when it comes to um, educating yourself on things that have been recorded you know it's actually evidence-based you know meaning that someone took the time to do tests and and you know um run clinics and things like that so that they can get accurate data and so um that's really important you know you want to be educated on um labor and childbirth um i will actually be teaching in a casual manner so meaning like you're not going to get certificates or anything after we're done talking it's more of a just a discussion with me and you um and even your support team if you want them to be involved as well to kind of go over what's going on with your body the changes that's happening in your body what goes on when labor starts what goes on when you're having a contraction what goes on when you know your baby first latches on for a breastfeed and if you are choosing to breastfeed um, also going over breathing techniques, relaxation techniques, positioning during early labor and active labor. Um, I don't think that enough people are being educated about, you know, how to take labor into your own hands and say, hey, I can do this and not be so um, and not be so reliant on the doctors and the nurses and things like that now I have had over 10 years of experience as a registered nurse in labor and delivery and so I would even tell my patients then like it's so important for you to um read and educate be educated on what is happening so that you can be prepared that is one of the biggest things another biggest thing that um I tell my clients you want to be prepared you don't want to just walk in and you know you're like I don't really know what's going on I don't know what to do I don't know what happens what this means I don't know I don't know I don't know and then totally rely um not rely would totally rely on essentially strangers you know what I mean because you don't really know them but you want to know when they start saying things that you're like okay I've read about that or I've heard about that okay and then you can ask questions more edu- you know being more educated in that area in that subject that way you can give informed consent you can give 
um, an informed answer, say, hey, I know about this. I've been informed about this topic or this, this situation. I looked up information on this situation. Now I can say yes or no being informed, right? So I think that education is so important throughout your pregnancy, throughout your labor, your childbirth, um, postpartum, because you want to know what's going on with you. It's not a matter of, oh, you know, I'm pregnant, I'm going to have a baby, and then I'll have a baby postpartum and we're going to be doing all this like there's so many things in between that that um you need to be aware of right as becoming new parents or as becoming someone who's adding to their family they've already been through this and i've had a lot of um patients who have told me wow like i knew more about this pregnancy and during this pregnancy and labor and things like that then i did my first one um you know so it's because they just took that step of being more informed taking classes finding out what resources are out there for them so that they can be prepared so yes i know that was a long one but education is so very important ask questions too don't be afraid to ask your um obgyn questions when you do go to the hospital don't be afraid to ask the medical professionals questions ask questions because you want to make sure that you're understanding everything that's going on with you so kind of like ending with the education you know i think that it's important for my clients to understand so you it's important for you to learn what your rights are when you're in a hospital setting what your rights are when you're in a birth center when you're at home i mean it's your home so but being in a birth center or a hospital setting i think that it's very important for you to know what your rights are a lot of people don't even know that when they walk into a hospital that they have rights you have a right to be informed you have a right right to refuse treatment or refuse medication you have so many rights and I think that it's um, very important for you to either ask your OBGYN or your primary care physician to give you a booklet you know for um, patient rights so that you will know exactly what they are you can also look online and find patient rights like a general list of patient rights for all um, hospital settings and then of course each hospital is different but for the most part you have a set um, list of rights you know and so I think that that is very important so that you already go in and this doesn't mean that you go in and you're just like ready to be combative and fight and you know things like that but all I'm all I'm wanting you to understand and get from this too is that you just want to be informed so that the wall isn't pulled over your eyes so that you know you're you're not being um, half taught or you're not given half care like you know you want to be informed so that when certain things fall through the cracks or aren't happening you can speak up for yourself it's so important like yes I can be an advocate for you but you have to speak up for yourself you know I'm not going to speak over you and speak to the medical professionals for you but what I'm going to do is prepare you so that when you do um, come before them or when you're with them you know you can speak up for yourself or your support team can speak up for you you know um meaning your immediate family so mostly like your partner your husband someone who's there your family member who's there you know and who knows you who have known you and know what you want and so um i think that that's very important to establish that as well Also, when our services start, um, I will also be doing weekly check-ins, seeing how you're doing, sometimes more, depending on the situation, depending on if you need um, more support. I do have 24-7 phone and text support when you are my client because I, I do care for you. I want to make sure that you're doing well. Um, and so very, like I said before, condensed list of of what it would look like for me to be your doula um, if you have any questions any concerns any thoughts anything like that what has your doula done for you if you've used a doula service before um, what did you get out of it what did you like what didn't you like um, how has that changed you um, after using a doula service if you have keep some comments build up some comments down below always like I say before 
keep it respectful nobody knows everything and we just all want to do everything in love so peace to you guys i hope you have a wonderful day